So what you first want to start out doing is you go ahead and click on add keyframe underneath there and it's movable. You can adjust it later on if you want to put it in a different position. I'm going to drag over an image from my finder and it's where you could click to upload an image. And as you do that, you'll see underneath, those are the images that I've uploaded for other reasons, for videos or for creative enhancement on Krea's platform. Once you have your video, your image uh, that you're going to use for that particular keyframe, you can go ahead and add a text prompt. So you see you drag right underneath there, put your uh, the mouse there, click on that, and it will say click to add text. So when you add that text to there, that text is what you want it to be a scene with dynamic motion of. So you're telling the AI what you want to happen, what it should be, what should be moving. It already knows, uh, it's trained already to know that something should be dynamic or moving or in motion. So you don't have to add that part. You just want to put the prompt, explain, just describe what's in that picture. In this picture, it's a samurai training under a cherry blossom tree. So that's what I'm going to put there for the text prompt. Then I'm going to add another keyframe. If you decide to change your text prompt, you can also just go in there quickly and change that. So I'm going to put another keyframe and I dragged it over a couple of spaces because right now I have it set for six seconds duration for the total length of time. And we're going to go ahead and put another image in there. What I wanted to do was to put images that are similar. I did variations of the same image so that I can get slightly different positions for this particular samurai, but it's the same one. So I'm again putting sam samurai training under a cherry blossom tree. You don't need a very long uh, text prompt there, just something kind of basic because it's going to add the motion and it already has that image as a reference. So you can use that. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to drag over the text so that the text prompt is over for a certain amount of space uh, for that particular length of that keyframe image. So with Krea, you can adjust the clip duration up in the top right corner of that video frame there, and you can make it go up or down in from one second to 10 seconds. I find that usually if you have about two seconds for each keyframe, that seems to be pretty good as far as how the motion will be applied. So I'm putting the third one there, and now I have that third image. And it's pretty cool because now I can see right there which one, which position it's going to be in, which image is going to be showing what. So if I decide to move it around, I can do that. In this text prompt, basically the same thing because it's the same image instead of trying to use different images that are, you. I don't want it to transform too much into different people. You could also use things like um, landscapes or objects and what it's going to do is when it applies the motion, it's going to merge those things together. So you can see that I'm moving things around here and I'm making it easier to make sure that it flows in the way I want. In this situation, I want for this particular video, I want the movement to look more natural so that he's going from back to forth from one direction to another. So that's why there's a different direction in there. If you want to change it around, and say I wanted to put the second one in the third place, you could do that. You would just drag the image and then you need to type a new text prompt there for that. You go into the settings now. Once you go into the settings, you have multiple aspect ratios you can choose from, from 16 by nine widescreen all the way to a portrait 916 aspect ratio. You can change the motion intensity. You can also loop the video. Um, instead of just having it evolve normally, you can have it loop so that it kind of goes in and out for, and you'll see what I mean once we create this video. When you want to go back to that screen, you just toggle back from the settings bar, the settings icon to the camera uh, action icon. There's four different types of animation that you can do. Uh, the styles of the video, film, render, animation, experimental. And when you're ready, you choose the one. I'm going to choose animation in this particular instance. You hit generate. It generates in two different steps. So the two steps that it's going to use, first, it's starting to generate in a low resolution. So it's going to look kind of um, grainy. It's not going to be very clear at first. 
but right now it's just putting the pieces together and deciding how it's going to add the motion to each one and also to make a continuous clip. So our clip duration is gonna be six seconds and now you can see for the animation, this is more like an anime style and it is very, it's kind of grainy and you see it's forming there, it's still working on that, but now it's enhancing it. This second step of the generation will enhance it so that it'll be a high resolution, very clear, and you'll see it's gonna look a lot different than it does right now. And this whole process is pretty fast. Once you have your keyframe images the way you want them to be, it generates it extremely fast. And as it's going, it's almost finished. I think totally it might be about three minutes and I'm not speeding up this video. This is the real time. And it's almost finished and it's pretty cool to see how it's putting it together. And you see it looks like the samurai is moving in different directions. It made it into more of a female style samurai, but it doesn't really matter. I didn't specify that. So it, it took a little bit of creative liberty for that. And there is the video. It's pretty, it's just wild, right? So now you can just go ahead and click on download and you can download that particular clip.